So I'm here at EGX 2016. Um, I've just had to go at Pikaniku, um, which I believe is Japanese for picnic. Yeah, exactly. And I heard you saying earlier, the say yourself the reason behind it, the name. It just everybody loves picnic, so yeah. we, say we want like everybody can enjoy the experience yeah. of Pikaniku. Yeah. Uh, do you want to say a little bit about it then? So what what is what is Pikaniku? Pikuniku is not a platformer, it's mm. not an adventure game, it's not uh, another indie game, mm. it's all these three things together. Yeah. Um, and I think is, uh, behind this, the most important is a playful uh, uh, playground, like uh, this is an experience to, uh, to spend a good time mm. more than a video game. Yeah, yeah I, know, I mean, that's. You said it's three things of what it's not. Something that it definitely is is fun. Yeah. Um, I, f I find myself just giggling and walking away with a massive smile on my face. Is that is that the main thing that you want people to get out of the game? Is just to have a fun time and, and to kind of just play around in the little world that you feel and, and yeah. that kind of stuff. Yeah, exactly. It's a little bit like uh, when you look children in a playground, yeah. you see them so happy, you know? And it's a little bit this feeling I want to share with adults or teenagers. Like, but to be able to be a child again. Mm -hmm. And it's really uh, what uh, this game is about. And is that something that influenced all the way down to the art style, the way it looks, the way it does, the way it sounds, the way it does? I mean, the game's got a really, a really, really satisfying noise when you kick someone. Yeah. And it just, like, it just kept making me giggle. Is that, is that something that's influenced through the sound and the visuals as well, that you want everything to be very fun and, and yeah. childlike? And, and minimal. I yeah. think because the language is so simple, mm -hmm. it's very understand for your brain to understand it. And it's, uh, there is no noise, there is no uh, texture, there is no complex shape. It's just the basic to uh, enjoy the experience and to, for, for, um, to don't uh, get any importance to what is not important. So the only focus is on the gameplay, the movement, the physicality of the game. So I mean we've got a small taste here today at what there's like little missions and little kind of like quests so to speak. Yeah. I went into a little village and met some people. Um, all the characters have got great little personalities. Is that, is that what the game is more about? As, I mean, the, the full version of the game will be more about... Is it going to be more like little quests and little missions and then meeting people and kind of just venturing out into this world? Um, the, the final game, the, the goal is to make... A, how to say that? Um, a friend simulator. Mm -hmm. um, because the goal will be to rebuild the community who is broken for something that we don't know at the moment, okay. like with secrets. But uh, you are not a hero. You need all the, uh, the help of the community yeah. to be able to solve this problem. So it's about friendship, about uh, how to help the other, and uh, these feelings that we don't see too much in video yeah. games. So how did the game kind of start out? Because it seems like you've got such a strong idea behind it. Was this always the plan, or did you, were you working on something else, and this was a side project? How did you come about beginning Pikuniku? Is um, uh, Remy who is helping me to do the, all the code uh, of the game. Mm -hmm. We live in France. I never meet him in reality. Yeah. We are just working through internet. Um, I see one on Twitter. One of the tests I've been, do, uh, been doing with uh, physics, mm -hmm. and he, um, I see a very nice character jumping in trees, and I find it very beautiful. But it wasn't a game, and I say, oh, I need to to do something with this guy because they look amazing, mm -hmm. and. Uh, uh, we've been talking uh, with Twitter and we uh, find a lot of uh, uh, common points between us. Like he really loves comics, he really loves uh, old uh, um, cartoons, he really loves children's books. So we, we, we try to define what we love and we try to put everything inside Pikuniku. So it really is literally a labor of love then. It's just everything you love and things that make you happy yeah. in a little game. Yeah, a little exactly. game called Picnic. Exactly. So when can we look forward to playing it and on, on, on what platform? I, ex I, I would like, ideally, to make it, to port it in console because mm -hmm. I think it's a perfect game to yeah. play uh, with your friend or with your family, especially with family. Yeah. Uh, we want to make it co-op, mm -hmm. so you oh, will wow. be able to play two in the same time on the same screen. Um, but if we don't succeed console, and I really hope we will <laughs> succeed, uh, it will be PC mm -hmm. and uh, with Steam and the classic stuff for in this. I think we look forward to playing it. Is there a set date? Is there a, are you aiming for any time? No, or? there is no date. I think um, one year yeah. is uh, optimistic, um, but it's possible yeah. in one year to have it. Well, I look forward to it anyway. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. I'm here at EGX 2016. That's a really long here at EGX 2016, I've just had a cut to have a We're here at EGX 2016. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> the day before it is the next.
name of the game that we're about to do. <laughs> no, I'm, not, I'm, I'm flagging now. <laughs> so I'm here at EGX 2016. That sounds really weird. <laughs> uh, Mitch. Mitch. 